Good morning, Gail. Got your taste buds ready? I do. What mm -hmm. do you have in store for me? Well, we're going to try low-end grinders with low-end machine and higher-end machine. Okay. And then we're going to take high-end grinder and try it with low-end machine and high-end machine and see if we detect the difference in taste. Is it worth it? You know, the grinder situation. Okay. And uh, what the, the person who requested this was like, you know, you guys say the grinder is so important, so should I... Let's see. Just buy a high-end grinder and a low-end machine, you know? So, yeah. we'll, I guess we'll taste and see, you know? Let's it's... spend $50 on a machine and $570 So, you have selected, what is the gear you're going to test with today? We have the crops here that we're going to use, uh, and then we're going to use the rocket. Okay. We have the Infinity by Compresso and the Mauser um, Mini Electronic. And this is the Krups XP5280. Mm -hmm. model. All right, well, uh, let's pause. You can dial in your business, and we'll be right back. Dial in my business. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right. Got them dialed in. So are you going to start, which which grinder are you going to start with? I'm here. Let's do this one. Okay. Now this XP5280 has self-tamping. <coughs> self yeah. A little click, notch click, system. Click. So, folks, what that means is that any crookedness not Gail's fault. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Let's just stick a knife in Gail and see if she's done. A fork. Well, looky there. Da -da -da -da. They're going at the same rate. For the, Go, Gail! For the first couple of seconds, anyway. <laughs> Although the one on the right seems to have a bit of a lead. <laughs> and the one on the left's coming around the curb. <laughs> Into the home run! The one on the right wins! I once again. <laughs> if I was a betting gal, I'd always choose the right when you're around, gal. <laughs> I mean, I, it wasn't that bad. No. All right. Okay. Not bad. Serviceable shot. Yep. Kind of. Um. It's not very rich. Right. It's not full bodied and rich, but it's it doesn't. It's not bitter. It's not sour. Just does. It's, it's just, just kind of standard. Okay. Yeah, standard. We'll be right back um, with the Mazar. Yep. Sure. Let's wipe up the residual so we don't get it on our shirt. I.e. Gail on her shirt. <laughs> Doesn't matter if I get it on mine, Gail. Nobody sees it anyway. Yeah, and you've got a dark colored something on. <laughs> I'm somewhere in, I always wear colors that show I always wear black the, because I'm a vampire. Oh, that's <laughs> good to know. At least that's what everybody jokes about because oh. they can't see me in the videos. Mm -hmm. That visually looks like a better shot. Like it has more crema to it. Looks good. Same coffee, by the way, folks. Mm -hmm. Super crema. We took it out of the same bag, so same vintage. <laughs> Where's that pastry I had this weekend to go with this? Mm-mm-mm. Man, that was good stuff. 5,000 mm. calories later. Exactly. Ooh. Scary. Big old. Okay, I think we're good. Big old cinnamon roll with a blob of cream cheese <laughs> frosting. <laughs> mm. More full bodied. Yes. Yeah, more, Richer. Fla more flavors coming through. Yep, it's a little bit better. Not, I wouldn't say twice as good, but it's definitely a little better. Yeah, it's it's. There's more coffee flavor to it this, than than that guy. It's richer. Thirty percent. I give it a thirty percent more. Yeah, there's still no like bitter or sour or anything. It's mm -mm. Still a standard it's shot. Yep, it's good. All right, so um, let's pause and uh, we'll dial in these bad boys for the rocket. Mm -hmm. right All right. So this is out of the infinity. This is the Capresso Infinity shot. Okay. Yep. We'll give it the best. Give it the best that you've got. Give it a little pre-infusion. Now, as we were dialing this in, we we were kind of torn between two notches. Mm -hmm. Where having uh, a hard time with it. Yeah, this is the best we could do. And and this was even like you had to lighten your tamp a little bit for this time. Tad. And still, it's already. It doesn't but, look bad. No, it doesn't. See? And actually, visually, we should note that the shot looks better than the shots off the Krups as far as the crema. And... Right. Hmm. It's brighter than the one out of the Krups. It's a Infinity. lot richer. Yeah. Yeah. It's a richer shot in general. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Okay, let's see what we can get out of the... But, you uh, know, it's a serviceable shot. It's maybe a yeah. little bit on the sour side. Not bad. But, okay, we'll okay. be right back with the Mazer. Yep, all right, so... Mazer shot. Mazer, let's do the pre-infusion. Coming out nice. More controllable. Yeah. The, the uh, speed of the brew. So, I mean, I right. was I did think that we were going to be uh, taking the Capresso down to the finest, but we were a notch up. So there yep. was the room, cut some room to move, I guess. A little bit. With this coffee, anyway. Yeah, super crema. So, looks good. Are you going to hand one to me, oh, Gal, yeah, or am yeah. I going to stand here? No, you're just going to stand there. <laughs> More full body. Mm -hmm. yeah. Smoother too. Yeah, not much, as much. Not there was a sour note in the compressor one. I called it bright, but yeah, it yeah. was a sour note. This is much smoother. So, what are your thoughts, Gail? Well, you do get a different taste out of buying a higher end grinder, and you have more how, control. How would you compare the Capresso Infinity shot with the Rocket to the Mazer shot with the Krebs XP five two eighty? Say that again. So the lower end grinder, the Capresso with yeah. the Rocket versus the higher end grinder, the Mazer with the XP5280. Ooh, that's a tough one. I you're mean, still, I would say in general, both shots. You're still getting a better shot out of the Mazer on both machines. Well, no, 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 no. I'm saying lower end grinder on the Rocket versus higher end grinder on the XP, XP5280. Oh, uh, oh. Those shots. Ooh. I, I still feel Ooh, like. Oh, that's a tough one. I still feel like the um, the Rocket shots were tastier like they were they were richer shots even with the yes. overall regardless yeah, oh, of the overall, grinder used. They are. Uh, yeah i would agree they're overall a better shot all around whether you have a high-end grinder or a low-end grinder would you would you choose a rocket and the infinity versus like how do you feel about that shot versus the one on the i wouldn't I but would. but if your ch other choice was xp5 280 like if your budget allowed for one combination or the other oh i'd go for the higher-end grinder you would do the, the Mauser with yeah. the XP5280? I would do the higher end grinder because eventually down the road, the Krups, you're going to upgrade. Yeah. And your grinder's already in place, you're set, you're ready to go. Or do but, you buy the machine and then say, I'm going to suffer through some oh, so, serviceable mm, shots for a while and then upgrade my grinder? Mm, no, I did the grinder first. <laughs> that's just, well, you know, that's how, I don't know. I still think the grinder is where it's at. The, I would still would put my uh, I would still put the grinder ahead of the machine. Okay. And then as you grow, you've got everything in place. The grinder is in place is what I mean to say. And then and you you're couldn't... doing the best that you can with your crops. If you go with yeah. a higher end grinder. Yeah, and it, there was a difference like that yeah. infinity shot off the crops. It was all right, but it wasn't that rich. It wasn't, it wasn't the wasn't same. The, yeah. No, it wasn't quite the same. All right. Well, there's our little test. That's our big test. <laughs> big, little, medium. It's a test. <laughs> Thank you very much, Gail. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Good morning, Gail. Get your taste buds ready? I do. What mm. do you have in store for me? Well, we're going to try low-end grinders with low-end machine and higher-end machine. Okay. And then we're going to take high-end grinder and try it with low-end machine and high-end machine and see if we detect a difference in taste. Is it worth it? You know, the grinder situation. Okay. And uh, what the the person who requested this was like, you know, you guys say the grinder is so important. So should I Let's see. buy a high-end grinder and a low-end machine, you know? So yeah. we'll, I guess we'll taste and see, you know. Let's if, spend $50 on a machine and $570. <laughs> so you have selected, what is the gear you're going to test with today? We have the crops here that we're going to use, uh, and then we're going to use the rocket. Okay. We have the Infinity by Capresso and the Mauser um, Mini.